Welcome to Njenji Media Channel. This is a channel where we explore the truth behind the headlines. For the sake of Ikemba, dear Bianca Ujuku, and also dear Me Obiano, an appeal from Mazio Dera, Pen of the God, JP. When the saying provides, no Kenyandra no no no, ewu amuano aboli, meaning, a good sensible elder cannot be at home, why a she goat gives birth, tattered. The saying wasn't talking about the elder that sold the conscience, those that ate out their souls, and those who can't talk while things gone away. It is for elders who fear God, who think about posterity, the elders that will stand in the middle of conflict between Omonna and shout, hold on your peace. I have read so many outbursts, especially from feminine on both sides, on both sides of the divide. True or false, we don't know. But some of them are son to OE, meaning they are very, very irritating to the ears. And as such, I am very, very bitter, Mazel Dera speaking. With some side, I know the side that I am bitter with. But for the sake of posterity, I will shed my sword and I will, I will lower my bitterness. There must be intervention to stop further escalation. Kandiro anyi hapo emu meaning let our enemies not laugh at us while we display this level of ignoramus in public. Now let me address Mrs. Bianca. Mrs. Bianco Juku, you know that you were once good with the governor, that is the governor of Anambra State, Governor Obiano, and the government. You battled Peter Obi in favor of the governor, have you forgotten? Despite his role to your husband, both in sickness and in debt. But great thing is that he never said anything ill or minute, bad about you. And he left a standard. He left a standard order to any media house in Nigeria that has soft spot for him that nobody, nobody should ever and ever attack Bianca or any member of Ojuku family for his sake or for any sake at all because the Ikemba, the late Ikemba, remained a legend that must be revered by all. He held Ojuku and his family to the utmost respect, which Bianca, you know that to be true. And there is no doubt about that. Things have went wrong after the aborted political outing, which blame should be shared anyway. It's not one person's blame. But I believe there must be lessons learned. I will also say, thank God that it was aborted. For it would have brewed a lot of doubts that would have put you in bad light. I should advise you to stop further comment or torments to the governor. Not because he doesn't deserve it, but for the reprisal effect that will put the name and dynasty of the Eziboburuburu in disrepute. And that is what Ndebo do not need and do not want at this critical time in the history of Nigeria. Remember, what a sword does to the shirt is what the shirt does to the sword. Onye kwek, onye na ekuoku amaro, ifo onye osisaga asaya. He that speak it can't say the response that will come or the hearer, how the hearer will respond. Remember that the mission to out King of Eberima from the party, I hope you know who we refer to the king as the King of Eberima in Africa. It was centered, you know, it, Remember that the mission to ask to ask the king of Eberima from the party was centered with and including Obatosu was along the line before the first servo was fired. He reclined as a smart man, went back and reconciled just to continue festering his next, you know, and that is very clear. His latest game plan was to con the party into accepting his latest ploy of foisting it it is, if it is not broken, no need to fix it into power. So he will be back to the helm of affairs 
which will give him right of bragging as the kingmaker. I hope those who have sense are listening. Dear, you are, as len you are a learned lady. You know and you should know that cat fight between ladies always left many bad blood flowing. Just remember the wife of whom you are and walk away with your shoulders high, Bianca. Bianca Ujuku, I, Mazodera, I can assure you that this path will lead to many had I knows. For certain things will be led out and we don't want that to happen. Some will be cooked up to stand as truth and some embellishment with some sweet honey odalas, and a lot of orish rishis garnished it will stay permanent in the annals of social media and when the fight is intensified it will never make you an angel i hope you know what i'm saying just remember the wife of whom you are the late ikemba newi ezibo buruburu the legend of our time i know your husband took a lot of malin Castigation, mudslinging, but he walked away with his mat intact. He walked as if he was the legend that ever lived forever and ever. If you ask me, Bianca, I will say, for the sake of that man that we all held in high regards and in high esteem, please perish this fight, no matter the provocation. Now, to also dear man, the wife of the governor. I, si I simply want to ask you to call, to call off those irritants that can't project the government but specialize in making more enemies for the government and asking for money to defend it. Defend they know nothing about. Zero. Projections. Minus. Because they have no brains. But they will run around as media influencers and who are they influencing will ask. Call them off. Look at look out the other way. Whatever it's worth, allow peace to reign also, dear man. It might not be the right step, but if you know me, Mazodera, and what I am, you should know I don't say things to make it sweet or favor okay, not to favor careful, but I cut it right in the middle. I have studied this issue and what I see is not a single victory to any of you. To anybody, but a wholesale desecration of the whole and the entire Igbo land. Now to the governor of Alambra State, Abu Kodike. The governor, this is time you step in as the current number one citizen of the state. Call the two ladies to order. You know who and who that will make peace to abound. Not because of them, but because of the man whose name made us to have a place called Anibo today. A man who stood shoulder high when it mattered most and said, I have drawn this line. Come and cross this line. You will have a place you call home. For the sake of that man, let us share our souls. I wouldn't ask Ndigwe or the bishop to intervene because they are observing table manners. You know, in African parlance, when someone is eating, you do not talk. As to the Iraqs, I beseech you and also beg you to walk away from this bitter bickering. This this is not a fight that is positioned where we must all fight it. We cannot fight ourselves. Maziodera, the pen of the gods, watching from the affairs of the state with his own visual and, micro and microscopic, making sure that we never feed our enemies with weapons to alienate us. Never again. Never. And never. This is Mazazura for Ninja Media.